when your oil pan cracks and you dump, you know, six quarts of oil out on the road, and then you just see a, just a stain coming out the back of your car, and you're like, oh, and then your engine sees. So this right here is exactly why you need to get the street shield. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Thomas with TMWYT. Just got the Golf R aired out behind me on this beautiful summer night out here in the state of Utah. Um, today we are going to be talking about one of the, my favorite mods that I've done on the Golf R. Useful and important and necessary mod if you plan on lowering the ride height of your Golf, whether it is through lowering springs, coilovers, or air suspension like mine is. Now I've had this mod on my car for about two years now. Ever since the car has been bagged, I immediately got this. It is the ECS tuning aluminum street shield or skid plate for underneath the engine bay. And I'm gonna dive right into it on why this is the most important mod you need for your golf if you plan on lowering the ride height in any way, shape or form. So with the car being on air suspension, it's obviously, you know, I'm gonna ride it lower than stock with the air suspension. I just aired the car back up to its ride height. Thought I'd show you guys the clearance that I get with the bags. I could definitely ride lower last year when I was on the uh, stock body setup with the smaller wheels. Um, it's so hard to get the clearance I need with how wide the wheels are and with the flares. Um, but this is the comfortable ride height that I'm sitting at right now. Um, and I will tell you exactly why this skid plate is such a necessity for these cars. All right, now that we're back in the garage, let me just throw the car on some jack stands and I'll grab the skid plate out from under the engine. Okay, we've got the Golf up on jack stands and the light so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna pull it off, but I wanna show you guys exactly where it mounts if you plan on getting this one. All right, now that we're underneath the car and the light is doing the best that it can to show off exactly the area that it covers, you can see that it starts up near the front bumper and goes all the way back past the oil pan to the subframe. And it should mount up here and then three mounts in the back and then it should mount up to your uh, splash guards or wheel well covers uh, which I have deleted because wide wheels. But this is the setup that I have right now. So I switched out the bolts in the rear. Uh, ECS included some Torx bits, um, kind of matching with the OEM kind of look of underneath the car. Everything's Torx bits down here and on the engine bay. I don't know. But I ended up switching those out because with uh, the back three mounting bolts where it bolts up to the subframe and it's OEM mounting locations, there's already places where you can mount this up. There's no trimming, no cutting required. All you have to do is throw away that plastic piece of garbage um, that was on your car previously. But I recommend switching out those back three Torx bits for actual uh, bolts. And I'll show you exactly what I got. Um, I just went, I took the Torx bits into Home Depot and just got them swapped out for uh, actual uh, hex bolts. I switched out those bolts because the lowest point on the car is gonna be where it bolts up to the subframe. And I would just scrape those everywhere. And then the, the Torx bit would be just ground off and I wouldn't be able to get them off. So I'd have to, you know, use a pipe wrench and pry those off. Um, so I ended up switching to the hex bolts and I haven't had any issues, uh, but let me just pull it up and pull it out and show you exactly what I'm talking about. The only downside to this mod is what I'm about to show you um, is if you do your own oil changes and you do it on jack stands on your garage floor, Getting a giant aluminum skid plate off the bottom of your engine bay is the only issue with this. So once you do those back mounting position, you just kind of pull it off and then I kind of just slide it down <laughs> like so. And then once it's clear, I kind of slide out. But if you just do exactly what I did, kind of just placing it on you and sliding it out and then sliding yourself out from underneath the car, or even if you don't even do your own oil changes, uh, which you should, I don't like other people touching my cars, but man, yeah, two inches zone. It's not a huge drawback to this thing at all, but here it is. It's super thick. 
you can see, I think it's about a quarter inch thick of aluminum and it is sturdy as can be. It's got the venting that the stock one had in the places that it needs to. It's got all the mounting holes already drilled out. It's even got the flaps up here on the front that um, go in line with the um, flaps that the OEM liner does into the front bumper. There's a mount up here and then the main mounts back here in the back. And this is exactly why I wanted to make this video, guys. I cannot make this up. I was doing a photo shoot up American Fort Canyon here in Utah with the Slammed Enough photographers. Um, they wanted to shoot the car. And I'm coming down the canyon road and it's a two lane road. So cars coming up one way, um, cars going down one way and I'm coming down. And if there's something in your way, you can't swerve into the lane next to you if there's cars coming right at you. I mean, it's not gonna work. So I see a medium sized rock like not something I would slam on my brakes to be worried about, but obviously like I aired up and I still hit it. So it was pretty, <laughs> pretty decently sized. I, I kind of wish I would have slowed down uh, a little bit more, but this is exactly why I wanted to make this video for you guys today. You see right here is exactly where the rock decided to make contact with my skid plate. And right about here, this kind of ridge that takes most of the brute force. You can see all the way down here, all the hits that I've taken, all the scrapes, everything. Everything shows. Back here is the most important part. Right here is about where the oil pan sits. And this thing does an amazing job of protecting it. And uh, you see back, back here on the back is pretty battered as well. This is where it bolts up to the subframe. You see the ECS tuning branding is still hanging in there. The street shield. And these are the modified mounting um, hex bolts that I decided to go with. And these have held up for, I think I switched those bolts out uh, probably almost a year ago now um, after, you know, tearing the uh, Torx bits out with a pipe wrench because they were uh, scraped to nothing. But that's what I ended up doing. And there's spacers on the back there and everything, but those just kind of chilled there. But this is exactly what I was trying to tell you guys why if this isn't like proof to get it like right now like links in the description go order this thing right now if you have any generation of the golf and you drive it lowered especially bagged or on coilovers dirt nasty low you need this especially with the mark sevens i know they have the plastic oil pan but this is exactly what i am trying to tell you guys this is such a necessary mod look how deep that scratch is and it didn't go all the way through and it didn't crack it. You can see where they kind of, the rocks kind of stopped over here. You know, I think there's still a little bit of a rock, you know, in the end of this one here. And so guys, I cannot stress this enough. This is such a necessary mod for your car. Um, tried and true. I've had this on my car for two years now and it's probably, you know, everybody does says tint, tune, wheels, coilovers. Obviously all that stuff's gonna make your car super cool. Uh, but once you lower it, this will save your butt. I, I, cannot, I cannot tell you guys enough how important this part is on my car. You know, both of these times probably would have ruptured my oil pan right here. Both these rocks would have just torn right through. And you're going to tell me in the comments, oh, well, you just don't run over rocks. All right, okay, you know, Thomas is an idiot. Don't get the street shield. And then when your oil pan cracks and you dump, you know, six quarts of oil out on the road, and then you just see a, just a stain coming out the back of your car, and you're like, oh, and then your engine sees. So, I mean, and it's badass. Having a big old skid plate underneath your car. Very cool, but, you know, just a quick little video for you guys. I'm gonna get this put back together off camera. Cannot stress this enough. Link in the description to the Street Shield by ECS Tuning. Kind of a shorter, you know, not as exciting video for you guys today. You know, I just wanna keep content coming out to you guys. Um, and w while I'm waiting on, you know, future mods for this to come, you know, I'm doing other car videos on other builds as much as I can. I just wanna keep the content coming out to you guys. So I thought I would just do some reviews on car parts that I have not featured on the channel that I got before I started the channel. So if you guys like this video, leave a like down below. If you wanna see other content like this of my car, please subscribe as well as many other cars you'll see throughout my videos. 
Um, so if the Mark VI isn't your cup of tea, definitely check out my other videos and see if I have anything that you like. Um, but that is pretty much it for you guys. Uh, link in the description to the ECS Tuning Street Shield. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Steve, pull up on the beat, make your room shake.